Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men confidently approach women to find the woman of their dreams. Guys, I want to thank you for tuning in today. This is Mental Awareness Month. And I wanted to talk a little bit about how us guys can, let's say, remain a little on the sane side when we're out there dating or even in a relationship. So there's some things, guys, I would suggest that we do okay outside the relationship that can help us stay a little bit level on that plane of sanity. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of ideas that maybe some suggestions, things that I did to try to continue to enjoy the company of women. So guys, I find myself single and alone in 2007. Actually, it was the very beginning of 2008. 2007 was a very challenging year for myself and the women that I lived with because we kind of were on those up and down and up and down type of relationship until finally it just snapped. So here it is, January 2008, and I'm just wondering where my life's going. I find an apartment, a hole up there for a few years, and kind of set back and think, you know, I've done an incredible amount of personal work in the last 15 years. What am I missing? What am I in need of in order to maintain that sanity level and also have some romance in my life? Well, guys, the T-shirt I'm wearing right now, if you can read that, it says Death Ride. If you know anything about me, you know that I'm a cyclist. I've been a cyclist since before I was five years old. And the Markleyville Death Ride, I was, as it was called back in 1981, I believe is when it started, I always wanted to take that journey. Back then, they climbed five different mountain passes. 129 miles and 15,000 feet of elevation gain. Oh, by the way, you do this in one day. You start at about four or five in the morning and you ride your butt off all day long. Well, I find myself single, alone, meeting a lot of guys, meeting a lot of women, having a great time for the most part, but it felt lonely and confining when I went back to my apartment and just holed up by myself night after night. Of course, I dated a lot of women. I asked a lot of questions. I learned a lot about women and dating and relationships. But what I knew just a short two years later is that I was missing my bicycle. And at the time, the bicycle I had, I don't think I could have climbed all those mountains. So what I did in 2010, I started dating a woman who was very athletic, very fit. She did a lot of triathlons, she did a lot of marathons, and she also did long rides like the death ride. Well, we got together and started preparing for the 2011 death ride, and we eventually had one of those up again, down again, up again, down again relationships, and I just snapped it off and said, forget it. I wanted to continue cycling because I knew that was great for my own personal mental health in order to stay level. Does that make sense, guys? So in this particular ride in 2011, I climbed four mountain passes, approximately 12,000 square, 12,000 feet of elevation gain. And of course down because you start at the same spot. And by the way, this starts in Markleyville, California, which is south of Lake Tahoe in the Alpines or the Alps of California. In fact, it's second name is the California Alps. And it's crazy. The downhills are fantastic. But I got to tell you, if I had not been in that condition at the time, had I not participated in six centuries, including the death ride, 500 kilometer rides, as well as ridden about 4,500 miles that year, I don't know how crazy I would have went or gotten had I not done those types of activities outside the relationship that eventually just snapped off about a month before the death ride. So guys, here's what I'm trying to say. Do yourselves a favor, find a hobby, find something that makes you happy so that when you come to the relationship, you're a happy whole person. You don't wanna be part of a person. You wanna be the whole person, the, a genuine authentic person that you are. And at that time, I felt I was genuine and totally authentic. And the woman I was dating, although we were madly in love, 
was just scared out of her wits because she didn't feel worthy of a loving relationship. So guys, next time we'll talk about unworthiness and being worthy or good enough for a loving romantic relationship. So guys, again, press that subscribe button because you're going to want to listen to some of the few videos that are going to be coming up about Mental Awareness Month and how we, us men, can stay sane in the dating and relationships. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next video.